These two men, Joe Duplon and Gibson Catalis, who live in Haiti, were on the University of Kentucky College of Agriculture Food and Environment campus to demonstrate the process of how to turn organic waste into a carbon negative cooking fuel. Using these steel drums provided by the UK Biosystems and Ag Engineering Department, the men burn corn husks to create the biochar. They hope the biochar will replace wood and charcoal, which is Haiti's current cooking fuel. The biochar is safer, cleaner and cheaper when made from refuse and will keep Haiti from losing any more of its forests. One of the nice things about this project is it's so obviously meaningful. Lee Maynard is the chairman of UK's Agricultural Economics Department. Community Development International has been working with partner organizations in Haiti for some time now on developing clean cook stoves combined with fuel that is not made from wood and this solves two problems. It reduces deforestation in Haiti which has only one percent of its forests left and it reduces public health problems from indoor air pollution as people cook on open fires. The project also allows other departments in the UK College of Agriculture to work together and give students a broader perspective of the world. And most of the students are from Kentucky and it's really important for them to get a broader perspective. And it's, so it's very interesting that Haiti is really not very far from the U.S. and it's one of the poorest countries in the whole world. You know, per capita income is less than $2,000 a year compared to our $40,000 a year. For us it's a very good study on systems because the problems of removing the uh, forest so that they can cook affects their soil nutrition because they have erosion and then that affects their um, flooding because they get runoff that's going too fast and so you can't fix one part of the system without fixing another part. They have to terrace on their hillsides because they're very hilly so a lot of that touches biosystems engineering so I think it's a really good case study for our students. Once everything is burned, if everything goes right, you're supposed to have solid pieces still in there. The men explained that after burning, the biochar would be mixed with cornstarch, pressed and dried in a briquette mold, providing a fuel that could be produced sustainably. From the University of Kentucky College of Agriculture, Food and Environment, I'm Jeff Franklin reporting.